Aloha, and thank you for joining us for this Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month program with the Long Beach Public Library. My name is Leslie Hashimoto, and I'm here to demonstrate how to make Spamu Subi, a popular Hawaiian snack. So these are the things that you'll need to make your Spam Musubi. Short grain rice, soy sauce, Spam, furikake, which is a Japanese seasoning, and roasted seaweed and sheets. The tools that we'll be using today are a Musubi mold. This one happens to be um, a non-stick, but you can also use acrylic. This is a luncheon meat slicer or a Spam slicer, which is designed to cut your Spam in exact pieces and a cutting board, and a longer container of hot water, and a sharp knife. So we're gonna go ahead and start by cooking the rice. So for every one can of Spam, I cook at least two and a half cups of short grain rice. Now while that's cooking, we can go ahead and fry the Spam. So I actually use this um, contraption here. It's called a luncheon or Spam meat slicer or Spam slicer. And it actually just makes sure that we get nice, even pieces. So once we have that cut, um, we'll go ahead and fry our Spam on the stove, um, fl flipping it on both sides in a skillet. So once we have all of our Spam fried, we'll actually can go ahead and start, um, we can start the folding. We will go ahead and take out a sheet of our roasted seaweed. And we're gonna go ahead and take our Spam mold, Spam Musubi mold here. We'll place it directly in the middle and we'll go ahead and scoop out some rice from our pot. And as you're, you're, as you're doing this, you're gonna go ahead and fill it. And you want it to be even, as even as possible. So. All right. And then we'll take the top of our mold and we're gonna go ahead and insert it directly into that outer mold there. And we're gonna go ahead and press down firmly with our thumbs on either side. Now we can go ahead and actually remove the mold by taking your index finger and placing it underneath the mold and pushing it down. And the mold, the outer mold will gently come off. And we can go ahead and also take off the top part of the mold as well. So we'll go ahead and then take our soy sauce and drizzle it across the top like that. And our furikake will sprinkle lightly across the top as well. Then we'll take our two pieces of Spam. This will actually make two. We'll place them on either side. You kind of want them to be even on either side. And we'll take our hot water. You're going to dip your fingers in it. Um, and across the top, you're gonna go ahead and put some hot water just on the top of there. And you'll actually fold the bottom portion up and you're gonna go ahead and dip your finger and wet that part as well. And we're gonna go ahead and actually roll and fold and then you wanna tuck your fingers in. And as you place them, you wanna go ahead and kind of just pat once you've folded your musubi there. And once that's done, you can wait a couple minutes and we'll take our sharp knife um, from the water. This will actually just helps to, um, so that the rice doesn't stick. And you can go ahead and cut the musubi in half, just like that. And then you're done making your musubis. And that is how you would make Spam Musubi. Mahalo, or thank you for joining us in this demonstration on how to make Spam Musubi. If you're interested in more Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month events, be sure to contact your local Long Beach Library branch, or for more information, visit lbpl.org. Also, be sure to follow us on social media.